It's no secret that the Chinese military is developing an invisibility suit for their soldiers. Recent intelligence suggests the country is close to a breakthrough that could transform the entire defense industry. However, Western intelligence agencies recently revealed even more shocking information. China is also working on a unique invisibility suit for their robot dogs, designed to make them invisible on the battlefield. This innovative technology could be a game-changer in military robotics and tactics. According to sources, the new suit is intended to camouflage robot dogs from visual and thermal detection. It uses materials that absorb light and thermal radiation, helping to evade infrared and night vision cameras. This gives a significant advantage in reconnaissance missions and operations requiring stealth. Robot dogs are already employed by the Chinese armed forces for patrolling, reconnaissance, and even demining. But this new enhancement could greatly expand their capabilities. The secrecy surrounding the development leaves experts speculating on how the technology will be implemented. Some believe these suits may become part of the equipment not only for robot dogs, but also for other autonomous combat systems, boosting the flexibility and mobility of the Chinese Army. The U.S. Army is actively integrating robot dogs into its tests to expand the potential of unmanned technologies. As part of Operation Hard Kill at Fort Drum, they tested vision models from Ghost Robotics Company. These quadruped robots are equipped with a targeting system and an AR-15 rifle and are designed to counter unmanned aerial vehicles and potential ground threats. One key feature of these robots is that they are operated remotely, allowing soldiers to stay at a safe distance. Control is managed through a specialized tablet, enabling the operator to aim using laser and infrared sights. The Vision 60 robots are capable of navigating rough terrain, making them valuable for reconnaissance, perimeter defense, and supporting combat units. With their maneuverability, these robots can patrol areas and respond quickly to emerging threats. China and Cambodia once again conducted joint exercises using the military robot dogs of the future. During these exercises between the armed forces of China and Cambodia, the PLA showcased the capabilities of quadruped robots reminiscent of machines from sci-fi films. These robot dogs, mounted with automatic rifles, are designed for urban. China and Cambodia once again conducted joint exercises using the military robot dogs of the future. During these exercises between the armed forces of China and Cambodia, the PLA showcased the capabilities of quadruped, robots reminiscent of machines from sci-fi films. These robot dogs mounted with automatic rifles are designed for urban, combat operations and are capable of identifying targets and engaging them. More than 2,000 troops participated in the joint exercises held in a training camp in Cambodia's central, Kongjang, province and off the coast of Kongs. The exercises included 14 warships, two helicopters, and 69 armored vehicles and tanks. Combat, counter-terrorism, and rescue operations were all practiced during the drills. The main highlight was the robot dogs, quadrupedal machines, remotely controlled and equipped with automatic weapons. The Chinese rifle-equipped robot dog is based on the Unrai Go-To model, available for $1,800 to $3,000 depending on the version. It features an ultra-wide LiDAR, a controller, and supports large language model AI functions. Weighing around 15 kilos, its body and limbs are made from an aluminum alloy and high-strength plastic. It can reach speeds of up to 3.5 meters while carrying a load of up to 8 klyr, with a battery lasting about 2 hours. The U.S. military is also striving to keep up with their Chinese counterparts by conducting extensive tests involving powerful weaponry mounted on robot dogs. Recently, the U.S. Marine Corps tested the Unrai Go-1 robot dog equipped with a modified M-72 grenade launcher. The military believes that such robots could prove useful in urban combat situations, allowing soldiers to engage the enemy from a safe distance or from cover. The weapon system on the robot's back includes a mount designed to hold and fire. The handheld M72 grenade launcher 
along with a forward-facing GoPro camera. In a video from the tests released by the military, the launcher attached to the robot fires from a static position supported by sandbags, likely for added stability against recoil and to ensure safety for the testers. What's particularly interesting about this test is that the robot dog carrying the grenade launcher is manufactured by the Chinese company Unrai. The Chinese company Kestrel Defense recently conducted tests of its firearm-equipped robot dog named Bloodwing. This robot is designed for military use and was developed for situations that require strike attacks behind enemy lines. In a demonstration that sparked significant interest online, the robot dog with a firearm mounted on its back is dropped from a drone and begins providing fire support. With this setup, the drone can deploy the robot in hard to reach. Areas such as building rooftops or zones, where enemy fire positions need to be suppressed. The Bloodwing robot resembles four-legged robots like Boston Dynamics Spot, but is weaponized to enhance its combat capabilities. According to Kestrel Defense, this robot can be effectively used in tactical operations to create a three-dimensional assault on enemy positions. At the International Military Technical Forum Army 2024, the Kalashnikov company presented an impressive show where robot dogs performed a synchronized dance. These robotic dogs, dressed in camouflage, moved in coordinated formations, showcasing the capabilities of modern robotics and its potential for military applications. The performance captivated the audience, especially as robotic systems are increasingly becoming an integral part of the defense sector. The Army Forum serves not only as a platform to display the latest weaponry, but also to highlight dual-purpose technologies that can be used in both military and civilian fields. In addition to robot dogs, the forum featured robotic demoners, rescue stretchers, and other systems designed to ease tasks on the battlefield. An engineer and YouTube blogger from the channel I Did a Thing conducted an experiment where he mounted automatic weaponry on a robot dog from the Chinese company Unrai. Unitri specializes in producing quadruped robots that